Hello, welcome back. In this video we will actually start working on our dashboard and basically we will be first inserting our KPI cards to be able to display the most important information. Now what we have in our dashboard so far, we only have our background color and basically we have chosen some theme for this dashboard. If I go to theme and layout, basically this is theme that we have chosen. Now let's go back to our page and let's start inserting our KPI cards. If I click on add a chart, we will be able to see scorecards. Now let's use this first option and I'm gonna place it here. So this is our first KPI card. First, instead of record count that we are displaying in this KPI card, I'm gonna be using total sales. I'm gonna place it here and then we will be able to see this sum icon here, which means basically that we are summing and displaying total sales that we have for our company. Excellent. Now we can see title and then value. Now let's go to style. And first I'm gonna click on these compact numbers. Now as you can see we will be able to see compact numbers and basically it will be much better to display value like this. Let's go back to style. I'm gonna scroll down and then I'm gonna make everything centered. Excellent. I'm gonna resize this and then we will have our first value. Then maybe we can change color of this KPI card. So let's go to style and let's go to background and border. Instead of white color, let's choose something interesting. So for example, something like this, maybe I will pick some other color. Okay, I will be using this one. Let's go to style. And then also we can change this border radius. I think 10 will be perfect. As you can see now we can see this round edge and basically this is much better now. Now what I would like to do, I would like to make this title and this value a little bit bigger. So let's go back to our value. Labels instead of 28, I'm gonna pick for example 30 or actually let's try with 36. And let's resize this a bit. I think now that is perfect for us. Now. I'm gonna add several more KPI cards, but instead of creating each one from scratch, I'm gonna just copy this one. So let's copy that one and then let's paste it here. Excellent. Now what we need to do here, we just need to change our value. Instead of sales, let's provide total profit. Then copy that KPI card one more time, paste it here. Perfect, instead of profit, this time I will provide order quantity. That is great, now we can see total number of products sold. Let's copy that one more time, paste it here. And now what we can add here, we can add number of products for example. So product name, basically in this case we are using dimension, so we will be using count distinct, as you can see, and then product name. Now what we can do, we can also change the title of this KPI card. So instead of product name, let's provide number of, of products. Number of products, excellent. And I'm gonna add two more KPI cards. Paste and then paste one more time. And we have our KPI cards. Let me just move this one. I'm gonna place that one here. And then perfect. Now what I want to do, I want also to change this value here. So let's see different number of regions. We have three of them. Let's go to style and I'm gonna turn off these compact numbers because we have only smaller value here. Excellent. For this one, let's see what's interesting we have. We can also provide number of countries, for example. Again, I'm gonna go to style and turn off these compact numbers. That is great. Now we have our KPI cards for our dashboard. With this, I'm gonna conclude this video. In the next one, we will proceed with creating charts. Thank you for watching.